right, everybody, we're moving through our geometry module and we're going on to 5.02 angles and triangles. And we have a rule in a triangle, the sum of any two side lengths must be greater than the length of the third side. Wait, what does that even mean? Let's go ahead and do an example so we can see what we're talking about. Okay. So if we had a triangle that was like three, four, and five, will it make a triangle? Is it really going to be a triangle or is it going to be something like where like the side's not long enough to reach the other point, right? That's what we're really trying to figure out. So if we add the sides together, is three plus four greater than five? Yes. Is four plus five greater than three? Yes. Is five plus three greater than four? Yes. So as long as that, as long as all those sides add up and are greater than the other side, we have a triangle, at least a possible triangle. Let's try a different example. Let's try, and again, you guys don't have to like be so jumbled in your notes because you have a nice long page. I have this short little page. Um, so you don't have to, um, you could just, be nice and vertical and mine kind of has to be squished. So we have three, four, and eight. So if we have a triangle, three, four, and eight, will it make a triangle or will it kind of be like, you know, not a triangle? So let's see, is eight plus three greater than four? Yes. Is three plus four greater than eight? No. And is four plus eight greater than three? Yes. So because this one part is not correct, this will not make a triangle. However, this one is a triangle. Okay, so take your time, make sure you've got it all written down. I love using the different colors uh, so that the examples pop out and they separate from each other. Sometimes the examples all look the same, but they're really different examples. So go ahead and finish writing this down, press pause, and when you are done, press play and continue. We have another rule. The sum of angles in a triangle is exactly 180 degrees. So when we have a triangle, if this is 60, if this is 60, this also has to be 60 because 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180, okay? So if I gave you a triangle that I only had two angles, you could take 180 minus the sum of the other two and you could figure out that the missing angle is 120. Okay, so that is gonna be a really important rule. We're going to need to know that all three of the angles add up to 180. Now we have some vocabulary. And again, geometry is kind of like a puzzle sometimes. You need to be able to know how to put the pieces together and they're going to give you just enough pieces to figure it out. No more, usually no less. So right now we have intersecting lines. Okay. And that's part of the definition. Vertical angles are two angles that are directly across from each other when two lines intersect. So what does that mean? For example, this angle and this angle are a vertical angle. They are directly across from each other when those two lines intersect, okay? Here's another little thing, and we may go into this at a later chapter, but why not bring it up now? Vertical angles are congruent. Does anyone remember what congruent means? Congruent means they are equal. 
Okay, so vertical angles are congruent. So if I told you that this angle was 30 degrees, then this other vertical angle must be 30 degrees because they are congruent. They are vertical angles and they're congruent. But that's not the only set of vertical angles we have with intersecting lines. This purple angle and this purple angle are also vertical angles with each other. So the green are vertical angles and are congruent to each other. The purple are congruent, are vertical angles and are congruent to each other. The green and the purple are not vertical angles, but the green with the green and the purple with the purple. Okay. Let's move on to supplementary angles. So with supplementary angles, two angles that have a sum of 100 80 degrees. So we have this part, which let's say this is 140 degrees. And then we have this part, which is 40 degrees. 140 plus 40 equals 180 degrees. So they are supplementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles with a sum of 90 degrees. So you'll often see maybe like a little box and that shows that it's 90 degrees. If you see that box in the corner, it is a 90 degree angle. But what if they don't give you the box? What if all we have is numbers. So let's say this is 50 degrees. Let's say this is 40 degrees. We just add them up. 50 degrees plus 40 degrees equals 90 degrees. So they are supplementary. And I'm just going to say, let's see, The box in the corner means 90 degrees. And it's not always a full box, but we'll go ahead and draw the box. All right, let's keep going. So many vocabulary words today. Adjacent angles. Okay, we've seen a couple adjacent angles already today two angles that share a side. So this would be, here's an angle, here is the adjacent angle, and here is the shared side. But it doesn't just have to look supplementary, we could have a complementary adjacent angle. So again, we've got Here's one angle, here's the other angle. They are adjacent to each other. Here's the shared side. And let's do another example. This looks familiar, right? We did the vertical angles this way, but now we can show that also the green was vertical to the green, but the green is adjacent to the purple. So there's that shared side. Okay, so so many different ways. Adjacent just means next to each other. They are side by side. Okay, neighbors. You might notice on this vertical angle example here that there's a lot of adjacent angles. This blue is adjacent to this purple and this becomes the shared side. You might notice that the yellow is adjacent to the blue, and then this becomes the shared side. Or you might notice that the yellow is adjacent to the green, and now this is the shared side. So there are a lot of adjacent angles when two lines intersect. Now we have a rule. When the sum of three given angles is 180 degrees, those angles can be used to form an infinite number of triangles. So what it's saying is if all we know are the angles, we don't know any of the side lengths, we just know the angles, 
I could make a teeny tiny little triangle out of those angles and that could be 60, 60, 60. But I could also make a bigger triangle and the angles are still 60, 60, and 60. Or I could make a gigantic triangle and the angles are still 60, 60, 60. And so there's an infinite number of triangles I could make with those angles because they didn't tell me how long the sides were. They just gave me three angles. However, when the sum of angles is not 180, no triangle can be formed at all. We just can't make a triangle if the angles do not add up to 180 degrees. And the third rule, so this is kind of like one, two, and three. There are three different rules here. And I know we had other rules earlier, but there's just a lot of information in geometry. It's, it's a lot like, you know, just learning the vocab, learning the rules. You've got to know this for geometry to be able to put the puzzles together in the questions. When the lengths of two sides and the angle between them is given, only one unique triangle can be formed. Okay, so if I know that eight, there's a side that is three, and I know the angle is 90, and I know the other side is four, I can't make any other triangle but this one. I can't make it bigger, I can't make it smaller because the side is three, the other side is four, the angle is 90. There's nothing else that I can do, there's only one option. All right, a little bit more vocabulary, everyone's favorite. So we have an obtuse angle, and I think you all probably have seen obtuse angles before. So it's not too difficult, but it's an angle measure between 90 and 180. It does not include 90, and it does not include 180, but it's, well, it could include 180, but 180 becomes a supplementary angle, remember? So that angle measure between 90 and 180. Then we have a right angle. That's when the angle measure is exactly 90 degrees. And then we have an acute angle when the measure is between zero and 90. So we could have tiny, tiny acute angles. We could be just shy of 90 looks kind of 90, but the square's not there. Obtuse could be really, really big. Or it could be just a hair over 90. Like it looks 90, but it doesn't, it looks like it's just tilted a little bit to the left. So visually, you gotta kind of pay attention to that a little bit. We have obtuse between 90 and 180. We have right, exactly 90. And I'm sorry, I could not get the little degrees to work when I was typing this up. So you guys go ahead and write those degrees. And we have acute, anything between zero and 90. All right, let's do our first example. What is the measure of angle X? Whew. So what are we gonna do? Let's forget about X for a little bit. Let's solve for Y because I know that the sum of a triangle angles equals 180, right? And right now I know that it's 30 plus 30 plus Y equals 180 degrees, right? There's 30, 30, and y. Those are inside the triangle, so they must equal 180 degrees. 30 plus 30 is 60. And then I'm gonna subtract 60 from both sides. That cancels out. 180 minus 60 is 120. So angle y equals 120 degrees. But you might have noticed that angle X and angle Y are vertical angles, 
they are across from each other when two lines intersect. So if we know that, then we know that vertical angles are congruent, fancy word for equal to. So angle X equals angle Y. So angle X must be 120 degrees. All right, let's keep going. Find the measure of angle B. Well, this would be great because it's inside a triangle and we know that triangles add up to 180, but we don't know A. We, we have two missing numbers now. But what I see, take a look at the picture, see if you can see this. I see a straight line and I see three angles on that straight line. So remember a straight line and maybe we didn't say this out loud, but a straight line equals 180 degrees. It's that supplementary, it's that, you know, 180 degrees. So it's a straight line. So I know that 45 plus B plus 50 must equal 180 degrees. It's an upside down straight line, but it's still that straight line. So let's combine like terms. 45 plus 50 is going to give us 95. Then I'm going to subtract 95 from both sides. That's going to cancel out. The B is going to come down and 180 minus 95 is going to give us 85 degrees. So angle B must be 85 degrees because 45 plus 85 plus 50 must equal 180 degrees. All right, let's find angle A. Now we know the other two parts of the triangle. This question didn't really change. We just want to solve a different part of it. So we know that the sum of angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So I have A plus 85 plus 75 equals 180 degrees. So let's combine like terms. 85 plus 75 equals 160. A plus 160 equals 180. Let's subtract. So A is going to come down. The 160 cancels out and 180 minus 160 is 20 degrees. So we had to use the information we knew. We had to know the angles of a triangle added up to 180 to be able to solve the question. And that's it. You guys go ahead and work on 5.02. I don't think there's an assignment for this, um, but you will be tested in 5.03. So do your best, try your best. If it's not good enough, if you're not happy with your grade, please go back, watch the video again, watch the lesson in FLVS, go to the live lesson, get some help. The more work you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. Have a great day.